Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you introduction to functions in C++. Once again, I repeat the topic, introduction to functions in C++. So what is a function? A function is a repeated piece of code. So if you have a repeated piece of code in your program, you can define as a function. It is also called as procedures or methods. In C++, it is called as methods. In C++, this object-oriented programming language, it is called as methods. In C, it is called as procedures. And function can be reused any number of times. If you define a piece of code as a function, it can be reused any number of times. Once again, what is a function? Function is a repeated piece of code. So it can be called as procedure or methods. It can be reused any number of times. And types of function. C++ offers two types of functions, namely library functions and user-defined functions. So what is a library function? Library functions or the built-in functions in any programming language, user-defined functions, we are the user, we can define our own function by using user-defined function. Once again, types of function, C++ offers two types of functions, namely, library functions and user-defined functions. In library functions or built-in function, it's already built-in, it's available. In any programming language, we can able to reuse it, it's already defined, as well as user-defined functions or the functions we can define as per our requirements. So how to define a function or how to declare a function? So followed by the return type, then function name and parameter list, and then within curly braces, you want to define the body of the function. Once again, the function starts with the return type, followed by the function name, it's the name of the function, and parameter list, and open and close curly braces. Within this open and close curly braces, you are going to define the body of the function. So where return type is any data type, such as integer, double character or string or what. You can use any data type as a written type. And function name is any valid C++ identifier you can use as function name. And parameter list is a list of passing arguments. Here you can see an example. Int is an integer data type. It's a return type. Add is the name of the function. Int a comma b or nothing but parameter list or passing arguments. Since it is an Return type is integer. We want to return a value using return a plus b. Once again, so the function starts with the return type int, stands for integer data type, followed by the function name add, and then list of passing arguments, integer a comma b. You can use any number of arguments, a, b, c, d, as you like, based on your requirements. Since the return type of this method is integer, we want to return an integer value using a keyword called as return. Return a plus b. Okay. So again, what's the function? Function, any repeated piece of code can be defined as a function. How to define a function? Function, first we want to define with return type followed by function name, parameter list, and within open and close curly braces, we want to define the body of the function. Now, use a defined function. So built-in function, we are going to see in next video, but this video, we are going to concentrate on user defined functions. C++ allow programmers to define their own functions. There are four types of user defined functions, namely function with no return type and passing arguments. Function with no return type and no passing arguments. Function with return type and passing arguments. Function with return type and no passing arguments. So these are the four types of user-defined function we are going to explain in detail. Again, C++ allows four different types of functions, namely function with no return type and passing arguments, function with no return type and no passing arguments, function with return type and passing arguments, function with return type and no passing arguments. So let me explain one by one. So function with no return type and passing arguments. 
Okay, so the function, there is no return type and no passing argument. See, sorry, function with no return type, but having passing argument. See, this is a function. And this is called, called as function definition. So void means nothing, empty. So no return type. And then followed by the function name add and passing arguments. Integer A, comma, integer B is called as passing arguments. And I'm going to print a message using C out statement A plus B equal to I'm going to add A plus B. So this is called as function definition. Now we want to call this function. How to call? So I'm navigating to main function, integer main. So I need two variables and two values. So I declare int because here I use the data type int. I need to pass two integer values. Integer x equal to 10 and y equal to 20. And I'm going to call the function add, that is function name. I want to pass the list of parameters. So how many arguments I want to pass? So in this function, it is having one, two. So I'm passing x comma y. So automatically the function will be called and 10 plus 20, that is 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. Okay, once again, I explain the program. First, we are going to start with the function declaration. Void is nothing but return type, no return type. Void is empty, nothing, no return type. Followed by the function name add and passing arguments, integer A and integer B is called as passing arguments of integer data type. So this function is going to print a message a plus b and I'm going to perform addition of a plus b. Now you define the function. Now you want to call the function. If you want to call the function, what you have to do, you want to pass two arguments, let us say integer a comma b, right? So I used an integer data type and I used two variables named the x equal to 10 and y equal to 20. How to call the function, function name, and then pass the values x comma y automatically the function will be called this is example for function with no return type see this is no return type but passing arguments here you can see integer a comma b these are called as passing arguments next navigating to second example function with no return type no passing arguments okay there's no return type and no passing arguments see it's void empty and function name is add see nothing no passing arguments again so this function the return type is empty void followed by function name and the argument list is empty so integer a equal to 10 and b equal to 20 i'm going to declare two variables and i'm going to add this two variable by using the print statement that is c out a plus b equal to a plus b i'm going to perform addition operation and this is called as function definition. Then we want to call the main function. How to call the main function add? Just call the function. Since no passing argument and no return type, you can directly call the function. So automatically it will print the value a plus b equal to 30. Once again, this program is an example for function with no return type and no passing argument. Okay, so the function starts with void. Since the return type is empty, we want to use void, followed by the function name add, and no passing arguments. See, there is no passing arguments. So I'm going to define the function. Inside the function, I'm going to declare two variables, namely a and b of integer data type. a is going to hold the value 10, and b is going to hold the value 20. And I'm going to print, using C out statement, a plus b equal to I'm going to add a plus b. Now function definition is over. Now we want to call the function. So how to call the function? So in, inside integer main, this is your main method. I'm going to call the function by using the name of the function add. So no need for giving arguments. Since no argument is required, just call the function. It will print the output a plus b equal to 30. Next, moving on to third example function with return type and passing argument. So this function we are going to define with return type and with passing argument. Here we have declared int. You can use any return type like for character or any return type, there's any data type. So this function is going to return an integer data type, name of the function is add, and 
arguments or integer a comma b and if you need c integer c integer b you can update your parameter list based on your requirement okay and then since it is an integer return type i want to return a value so what i'm going to do is i'm going to return is a keyword i'm going to add a plus b and i'm going to return the value so this is called as function definition and now we want to call the function if you want to call the function you want to provide you want to pass two values because here you can see the function is having two argument list so in main method integer main i'm going to declare a variable called integer x which is going to hold the value 10 and i'm going to declare one more variable called as y which is going to hold the value 20 and i'm going to perform c out a plus b and i'm going to call the function add by passing the variables x comma y so the function will be called and it will have two values 10 plus 20 equal to 30. once again i will explain the program this program is an example for function with return type and passing arguments so int is a return type add is the name of the function int a comma b is nothing but the passing arguments so anyway the function wants to return an integer value we are going to return a value using a keyword called as return we are going to add a plus b and we are going to return the value to the function now function definition is over we want to call the function if you want to call the function how to call a function see function name and you want to pass two values so in order to pass two values i need two variables so in main method i'm going to declare integer x equal to 10 and y equal to 20. now i want to call this method how i'm using c out since it is written type as an integer i want to use c out statement a plus b equal to i'm going to call the function add so if i want to call i want to pass two values since it is having two arguments x comma y then it will print the output a plus b equal to 30. next moving on to last example function with return type and no passing arguments okay so this is with return type but no passing arguments see i have declared a function the return type is int that is integer the name of the method is add no argument list and inside the function i'm going to declare an integer since it wants to return an integer value so i assign two variables a equal to 20 and b equal to 20 of integer data type i'm going to return this value by adding this two value a plus b and how to call this function this is called as function definition how to call this function i need an c out that is a print statement and i'm going to call the function without passing any arguments since there is no arguments once again i repeat the program so this program is an example for a function with return type and no passing arguments right so first we are going to define a function so it needs a return type so i'm going to use int if you wish to use float or character or boolean you are allowed to do so and then followed by the function name and here you can see there is no argument list or parameter list so inside the function definition i'm going to declare an integer and i'm going to declare two variable a and b of integer data type a is going to hold the value 10 b is going to hold the value 20. Yeah. since the function is uh, having the return type int we want to return an integer value i'm going to use return keyword a plus b and then i'm going to call the function in main method by using c out a plus b equal to add since the method doesn't have any argument or parameter list we can call the function directly then it will print the output a plus b equal to 30. so i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video